Hi, I'm Mark from Productive Computing, and in this video we're talking about FileMaker and QuickBooks hosting. This is actually part two of a three-part series. We already did part one, and in part one we talked about what this service is, why we created it, and gave you some details about what this is all about, this thing called FileMaker and QuickBooks hosting. So in this part, this is part two, we're going to talk a little bit more about what's under the hood, show you a quick demo on what it's like to move data from QuickBooks to FileMaker using this service. And then finally, we'll talk a little bit about the pricing strategies and some of the buying options you have. This will be a short video, so stay tuned. So let's talk a little bit about option number one, which might be a popular option for a lot of you because FileMaker hosting is something you may already be doing with another company. You actually may be doing it with us, but let's just assume for a moment that you're doing FileMaker hosting with another company. You can still host the QuickBook files with us. In other words, you can still host QuickBooks with Productive Computing and maintain the existing FileMaker entity you have now, be it a third-party hosting company that you might already have a great relationship with, or perhaps you're actually hosting FileMaker in-house and aren't quite ready to move FileMaker out of house, but you are ready to move QuickBooks out of house. So in any of those scenarios, we can accommodate by just providing the QuickBooks only hosting service. And we'll talk about the details of what that looks like price-wise here in a minute. All right, so with that in mind, with when you host QuickBooks with us, you will have the option of connecting to what essentially becomes a remote desktop. So we'll take your QuickBooks file, we'll put it in the cloud, and you'll have full access to it by way of any of these devices, such as a Mac computer, a Windows laptop, a Windows desktop, or even a mobile device if you so choose. Now, I don't expect you'll be doing accounting on a mobile device, but at times it might be nice to just jump into the QuickBooks file check something very quickly, and not necessarily do full-blown accounting on your mobile device. But these are the options that you do now have when you host QuickBooks that you might not have as readily available serving QuickBooks on your own in your own office. Okay, so that's scenario one where all you need is the QuickBooks hosting part. Scenario two is, well, you actually want to host your FileMaker file and you haven't yet already set that up. You could potentially host with us. So we take your FileMaker data and your QuickBooks data and put them both in the cloud side by side. Now that gives you some neat options because now when you're communicating between FileMaker and QuickBooks, the speed is going to be quick, especially if you're taking advantage of our FMBooks connector plugin, which allows you to move data from FileMaker to QuickBooks. Now notice here on the icons down below, I'm showing that each one of those remote desktop stations, if you will, or workstations or virtual machines, have both QuickBooks client and FileMaker client installed. So in other words, you're looking from your from whatever device you're connecting to, you're connecting to this remote desktop, if you will. And within that remote desktop, FileMaker client is running. Today that's known as FileMaker Pro Advanced if you're talking about FileMaker 17 or above. And then you have your actual QuickBooks client. And what's interesting about this is it really mimics everything you would have in the office normally. Now, the desktop environment is Windows because ultimately our plugin and the way that this all works has to be within a Windows environment. But you can still connect from your Macintosh into that Windows environment in the cloud. So that's a nice option there. Now, in addition to what you can do between those two programs, like I mentioned earlier, you can get our FMBooks connector plugin and actually move data between FileMaker and QuickBooks. But you also have the other options that you would expect, such as printing. So even though your QuickBooks file is in the cloud, you can actually still print as if you were running it right from your local computer in the office. So the technology partner, AWS in this case, uh, which enables us to do this, has figured all of that stuff out. And they've figured out all the security and all the other things that go into hosting remotely in the cloud. And if you check out part one, you'll see that uh, we've been actually credentialed and qualified to do this. So you can feel comfortable that that is happening. All right, so let's now take a look at some of the options that you have. So I'm going to simply go to our website and click on hosting over here. And I'll direct that down to QuickBooks hosting. And there's essentially two options you have. You have the QuickBooks hosting only, which is $99 per user if you pay annually. 
or 110 if you pay by the month. So if you only need one user connected, it would be $99 a month. That price would include all the hosting capability. It includes the setup. We set all the files up. We get you connected. We make sure everything is working and we maintain that for you and with you and work with you side by side on that. Then in addition, you will need to provide us a QuickBooks license or we can purchase one on your behalf at a discount, in fact. So that would be part of the service that we can provide. And then we can also provide your FileMaker licensing on top of that. So if you need both FileMaker client as well as QuickBooks, and we can take care of all that and get that set up for you. So that'd be $99 a user for QuickBooks only. And then you have the other option, which we have a, like a blended option, where you can have both your FileMaker server and your QuickBooks server combined into a single service and you'd pay $198 for the first user, and that would include all the features of our small team plan for FileMaker hosting, and then $99 for every user after that, provided you pay for that annually, and a little bit more if you pay for it monthly. And it does require QuickBooks 2018 or above, and preferably FileMaker 17 or above. And then you have an additional option here, which is if you actually need us to install Microsoft Office along with that, that's something that can be included for an extra $20 a month per user. And that's a nice feature, especially when you think about accounting. A lot of times you want Excel side by side with that accounting. Okay, so those are the buying options. And then finally, I wanna show you quickly under the hood what this might look like. So essentially what you'd see is you'd have your QuickBooks running alongside of whatever FileMaker file you have. Now, most people would want to do this if they both have FileMaker and QuickBooks. For those who have our plugin, where they've already integrated FileMaker with QuickBooks, whereby you click a button and it pushes data one way or the other. For those folks, this is gonna be a super uh, advantage because the speed by which you can do that, that transfer of data is going to be very quick and it's all cloud-based. So the entire process is handled in the cloud and there's no real ability to do this today with any other solution, at least in a certified way, other than using productive computing. So we're pretty excited about this. So we uh, are excited to have you look at this a little closer. Be sure to watch video one if you wanna get additional background and feel free to leave comments on the video if you're watching this through YouTube and um, check out our other resources or give us a call. You can reach us at sales at productivecomputing.com and we can take it from there or just visit our website and read more. Thanks for watching.